Hello everyone. So in this video, I'll be showing how to fit a neural network uh, using Jump. So the data that I'm using here is again uh, the same uh, thickness of a polymer, and the thickness depends on six different variables. So we'll be seeing how to create uh, a neural network uh, in order to see uh, uh, how how this uh, analysis can be uh, useful. In order to understand how these uh, variables, you know, can be useful for predicting uh, the thickness, or uh, if you are interested in uh, uh, categorical variable as your outcome, then you can also use outcome as your uh, response variable. But in this uh, example, I'll be showing um, how to uh, uh, predict the thickness uh, using a neural network. So to do that, you go to analyze predictive modeling and then click neural so in the neural uh, menu uh, you click thickness as your y response react through humidity as your x factor uh, and then say okay so in this uh, uh, model launch menu uh, you can choose how much you want to hold back for the validation set here it says 0.333 by default that is the validation so let's make it a round figure of 0.3 then here you choose the number of nodes by default is 3 but you can set whatever values you want and sometimes uh, if you are sharing data uh, then you may want to set a random seed so that uh, you know others who are using the same data set can reproduce whatever you got but here I'm going to leave it at 0 and then I say OK or go and here you can see that the model has been uh, evaluated and you can see the uh, statistics here for R square and uh, RAC, uh, RAC values for your validation set uh, and your training set and additionally if you click on this red triangle option here and say show diagram you can see the uh, the neural network that was used. So here you can see that there are three hidden layers or three tan functions which have tried to relate uh, these six variables uh, to thickness and uh, Also, you can say show estimates. So these are the uh, estimate uh, of the parameters So here you can see that for each tan function uh, there is an intercept uh, as well as the estimates for uh, the different levels and uh, uh, and another thing that you can do is if you go to the red triangle option here uh, you can say save formulas and now if you go to the table you can see that uh, the formulas have been saved so now if you right click on one of these columns you can see the formula that has been used for each of these tan functions as well as if you come to this predicted uh, you can see that uh, predicted uh, is nothing but a intercept uh, some of the intercept and as well as is a linear combination of uh, these three tan functions now let us go back to the uh, the neural network that we fit and additionally you also have the option to use uh, profiler if uh, you know that that is something you're interested in understanding how uh, these uh, variables fit and also as I've shown in uh, my regression videos you have the option to uh, set desirability uh, under desirability function uh, so since this is an interactive profiler you can actually move around and see uh, which is the how the thickness changes when you change uh, each of these uh, variables so this is how you create a neural network uh, in jump